Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. I don't have much time. I only got like an hour to record this this Wild Froster, so let us just get into it. So, uh, what I did is because of the certain circumstances of the previous run, I have just started a new run and then immediately axed it. So now the win streak is back at zero. Uh, for this leader, I'm going to name it. I need to to promote the new uh the new fucking nine souls let's play I'm doing, which uh episode episode two of it is going on, episode two of it is going out later today. I'm gonna name this guy Yi. Yi, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure. For this, we play Spike. Uh, and we hope for the best. This would be a fun leader to get Flame Blade Charm with. Good damage barrage leader. If you could, how? Okay, what is the setup to get this leader to? Okay, you need Flame Blade Charm. See, I'm trying to think of this perspective of dealing 30 damage to. Uh, yeah, dealing 30 damage or dealing 30 overburn to all three to all three units in the oh, that's a problem. I gotta beat this guy up myself. All right, we do this, and we just let Spike kill it. Then we freeze the goblin, masterfully execute it. We unfortunately don't get to hit the goblin for much, and I don't really want to call in the enemies. So I'm going to let this Jun Jun here die because I need to. Wait, no, you don't let the Jun Jun die. You let <laughs> the Jun Jun will fuck up getting, will fuck up killing everything. All right, it is. We are off to a good start. A lot gonna get a lot of money from this fight via via of uh, via Mr. Spikerson Spikerton Jr. No, I'm not I'm not calling him that because it too, reminds me too much of Tankerson Jr. and that guy is my enemy. I am down to take this path. We have if, if, unfortunately if only our leader was a little bit strong. Um, this doesn't affect Taiga too, too much, I don't think, but it is kind of sad. And I would rather take Barry Sis anyway. Barry Sis seems sweet here. Likely not gonna be, likely not gonna be Vesta. Egg is a good pick in case, in case we see like a Skull Mist here. Two all right, two pretty all right units. Definitely want. I definitely want this egg to hatch as soon as possible. So I'm gonna tar blade it so it, so that that happens. I don't know if there's too much. You, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can kill the. Uh, here we can do it like this. Break the earth berries. Break the earth berries block and then set up to kill shit. So what I need to do here? Oh, is that that's a that's pretty annoying. So what we'll do we'll hit this earth we'll hit this earth berry. The goal here is to set up for a massacre. We'll hit this guy. Um. I would have to let hmm to get Unfortunately I can't get anything better than a Fortunately I can't get anything better than a uh, double kill than a double kill here oh, unless I want to let Earthberry die and I don't really want to let that happen 
Oh, I'm not even able to get a... Damn, I really felt like I should have been able to get more money here. But this snowbird really fucked everything up with shell... With... With shell charm. It's not the biggest deal. It's just a little... It's just a tiny bit annoying. Alright, this setup here does nab us a triple kill, though. It is very nice. <laughs> And we even deal a bit of damage to Queen Globberry. Does not matter. Well, that point doesn't... I mean, it ends the fight quicker, but... Decreasing the damage doesn't matter, because we're just gonna, like, Junjun. Junjun, take the hit. Take the Schmidt. Okay, get... Take out the berry. So, something to note about this run is that we're not fighting Frost Guardian. We are fighting... Uh, uh, we are fighting these goobers, Nimble. The people... <laughs> POV, you forgot the... Nah, POV jokes aren't funny. <laughs> well, they're not funny. It, it, bad P POV jokes are just kind of miserable. Palm Max doesn't really do anything. I'm very down to take Sheep Hopper here. Sheep Hopper, very nice for the early game. Oh my god, stop showing me fucking Pingu Charm every single run, man. Hate that fucking thing. Part of me is kind of down for an Azul Skull. Because we do shouldn't have too bad of a time sacrificing units. Frost Hand. I have good, very nice money. Oh, ooh, do I? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I see an angle we can... I see a cool angle we could do. It does mean my money goes down to zero. Who do I... So what I want to do is I want to take Frostbell here. I want to take Frostbell and give it new Frost Hand and Newland. Because that sounds fun to me. I'm gonna try it. I don't think it is possible for us to get a, another crown here, unfortunately. Which mainly, I think that affects egg. But this, if we can just stack up on a bunch of these, that could stack up on a bunch of frost bells. It could be really strong for a run. Like, example here. We just don't have to worry about this porcupine now. Although, admittedly, the, uh... <laughs> admittedly, having the... Why am I not letting Egg take these hits? I need... I need the Egg to take the hits. Uh... We're only taking, like, we're literally only taking two here. I will freeze this mini mocha. Which lane do I want to hit into? I'll probably hit... Mm, nah, I don't need a... Don't freeze the mini mocha. We'll freeze the Frostinger instead. Frostinger, a, usually a unit, I think, I underestimate too much in this fight. We... He, here we are... Next turn, we are able to get up a very good cheap popper. A very, 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 very good cheap hopper. A very, very good boy. I didn't need to let Spike did not need to take that hit. Yeah, because now I could... I could just say sayonara to the entire field and just do this. <laughs> Why do you... Whoa, wait. He took... He had 12 HP there, but he took more than that. Is it because... Infernoco is like two units big, so it counts as like two different hits against it. Is that how it actually works? That's kind of crazy. I she, I guess that's how Sheep Popper works. I never knew that. Interesting. Very, very interesting game mechanics. Always, always like to see a new game mechanic. 
freeze this idiot. I this makes me just want to call in the enemies now. Um. Yeah. Okay. I can. Spike is able to make a double kill happen here. Good job, Spike. Spike with this lead. Spike with. This leader is goes so well with Spike. I do wish for like I do kind of wish that this leader had just a little bit uh there's nothing I can really do to save drag here, so or maybe there is, but I could just get I could just sunburst you two and drag and drag gets done what he's meant to get done. Unfortunately, here. Actually, I can get a. Yeah, we. You are able to get a. A. No reason to not end off on a double kill here when it's very easy. When it is very very easy to get it here. Why did that guy had the? Why did the teeth icon pop up for that guy when he died? Game is a little bit buggy. What if I make? Fucking four. Hmm. Definitely gotta take crown here. Lumen ring is cool. But what if I took... What? Just what if... Just what if I took critical charm here and then we are able to just completely neuter enemies? What if, okay, what if I get, like, Snowball Charm this run, and then I see, like, Chuckle Charm, and then we're able to make, actually, and then we're able to make just the god, the god bell. I probably should have gone critical there, actually, if for, for this kind of line. Yeah, I actually probably really should have. That's my B. Is my B. Um... Removal seems good. Removal's good here. Because our late game plan is just going to be to try to stall with this. Moose Charm, sadly, usually doesn't do very much. That's a... Uh, if you heard something there. Heard this little sound. This is a flip lighter I have here. Okay. Right. Make sure you buy the fucking goop this time. Good lord. Good lord. Is Stokey even that good for this build? I think I just want to try rolling charm so our leader can high roll. Because my whole damage is going to be coming from this leader, it looks like. So I think instead, so I, we, what we want to visit now is we want to visit a Shade Sculptor. To get a second, to get a second one of these frost bells. To me, it makes more sense. It actually makes sense to skip the. Uh, well, if I knew I was getting that. Oh wait, we got this thing back. Nice, the sheep popper, sheep popper. Uh, this combo is really good. Sheep popper plus boonfire charm. This is a really strong combo. I think I'm gonna save this crown because there's nothing in this build I super want to crown right now. Or super want to put a permanent crown on. So we're just gonna, we're just going to continue. These combats could get awkward. Don't see the reason. Don't see why not doing it. This sheep popper is probably just gonna be my main source of damage. Honestly, mainly gonna be my is gonna be my main source of damage in this early game because then I can just hit sheep popper here and just blow everything up. Which seems pretty good. Actually, egg has not a mouse. What the fuck? You good? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's our that was our big payout of damage. Now it it's down. Okay, I am able to set up. Spike is nice here. I'll put Junjun here because Junjun could set up for a nice. We definitely cross belt this top lane. I'm gonna hit this Jun. I'm gonna hit this Goblin. We're here. We're trying to set up for for Yi to just clean up here, clean up this top lane. Japto dealing demonize 
isn't that noteworthy. Hitting the Gawk with the Tar Blade here sets it up to die to Drag. That is everything on the board set up to die, and then I can just freeze the Jab Joke. Oh, wait, shit, the Goblin runs away. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. I actually really could eat that. I honestly feel really dumb for doing that. I missed out on a good amount of money. What do I think is a bigger issue here? These Jab Jotes or this Jab Jote and Sporky Pine or... I think it is the Jab Jote and Sporky Pine. It is a bit unfortunate because our main source of damage is looking like it is going to be this drag here. Uh, you can Blizzard Bottle Mudden Head. So you do it like this. Does this set up to kill everything? I think it does if I do this. Uh, you know, the very weak Tar Blades are actually been really nice for this run. Just allows you, just allows Dragon Yi to pick up kills that they wouldn't normally get. Made this fight really, made this fight so we're like. Drag, I really does not, Drag, not that strong of a damage dealer. This fight went out really smooth. This fight went really smoothly. I wonder if it would have been, like, super different if we fought something else. Drag, prob, I think, Drag could have handled, I think Drag really handles, what's its face, what fight am I thinking of? Uh... Greg, really? I need to pick up one of these paths. Which one of these do I go to? Slapcrackers, not into the idea. Sorry. I really want, I really like taking money here. And there, but the chance that you could high roll at this Charm Merchant. So I think I'm going to take this Charm Merchant. The removal seems okay. And even then, you don't see... I'm pretty sure you're, we're not going to see these charms. Although, maybe I could take a Raspberry Charm. It's not terrible. It's pretty good for your leader. Eh. I don't think it's worth the money. You could... it. You do need to be careful here, I think. Actually, do I put... I am fairly confident that whatever strategy I play late game is going to revolve is gonna involve this egg. So I'm going to put the permanent crown on egg, and then we're going to run sheep pop. And then we're going to put a crown on sheep popper, because... Although... Is this actually right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. If only I could call in the enemies early here. Snow everybody. I kind of want to greed. I want to greed here. I really want to greed to like kill the incoming guy. To kill the incoming enemies. Yeah, I... The only harm here is that... Uh, I do lose the Junjun I just summoned. That I should have just not summoned the Junjun. Should have just redrawed to get better units out. I'm very much fine with Yi taking this. With Yi taking this three here because it means you get to immediately hit the pawpaws with the big sheep hopper hit. And you pretty much, you do just kill everything. Is Sheep Hopper doing more damage than he's supposed to? Like, he one sh Sheep Hopper one shot the, uh... One shot the... It was only eight damage. Oh, uh, I get... No, it was Yi's damage that made it that a one shot. Okay, I, I see it. I just get Barry Sis down. Um, I'm down to let Spike go down to. I'm down to let Spike go down to this. To uh, four here because it means you're able to get good. You're set them. Up, you set them up to die. 
Guess we just play somehow, because you need to save this Blizzard bottle for the real threat. The Maja. Although, single target damage-wise, we really don't deal very much. We really don't deal very much. I need this egg to die. You gotta be very... This fight... Maja is actually, like, pretty threatening here. All I really have are tar bleeds. All I really... I really don't have much to hurt it. Okay, now is the time I will freeze Maja. Well, maybe my deck is small enough from removing two things that I can just, like, redraw. Uh, that is decent damage. I think I'm just going to redraw, keep applying freeze and frost. I never have to worry about this smog. The only thing that's really dealing damage here is... The only thing on this board that is dealing damage is... Is the Gromble. And like, is the Gromble really dealing damage? I don't actually think. I think it's the. I think the Gromble's damage is an illusion. Although, I guess the Smog did also deal damage. Oh, fuck. I forgot I was aimless. Ah, oh, that's just gonna make this shit take longer. Okay. Good sh We'll do this. Um, Maja, okay, I can just redraw twice here, and probably draw back into Blizzard Bottle. I do. And thing to note, you are playing plenty of... You are applying a plenty of snow to this. All right, yeah, this is... This fight, really nothing, Ma, really not much Maja can do. Very happy to have, very, very happy to have Dreg in this run. Dreg hatching and just being, like, a good damage dealer has been really helpful for this run. Even if it's not phenomenal, it's, like, at least, we have lots of stall and ways of cheesing at the enemies. It will, I will fear that this kind of strategy could fall out, f could fall off into the middle game. Or into the late game. That's why I've been like trying to roll a lot for. That's why I've been ro rolling a lot for charms, and been getting disappointed. Actually, something I could do is I could. I move charm on Barry. This doesn't seem terrible. All right, we get out of here. Took a while. I really hope. Well, I've been rolling a lot of charms because I want to see if we can high roll. If we can get something that can make Yi a proper offensive threat. Definitely, yeah. Now, I tell you, I do runs like this where I have one, like, really strong wet item that I just want to play a lot. And I was like, oh, we can visit Shade Sculptures to get copies of it. And then the game never gives me Shade Sculptures. Shen, I'm sorry, this is not. Oh. Oh, what if it actually is Shen? Even with the demonize, what if it is Shen? What if you just try to proc the demonize yourself and then you can do Frostbell to... Oh, that actually seems kind of good. Hmm, I'm gonna... I will consider that. This I will cons... This I do consider. Skull Mist here. Can I do anything with Skull Mist here? I don't really want to. Um. I'll draw charms first. Balance charm? You know, that's pretty good on your leader. I think that might actually be good on your leader. As crazy as it sounds. I'll roll another charm, because. Sunlight Bee Pop drum don't super appeal to me. Okay. Lots of charms we can play with here. And none of them are very good. <laughs> Balance charm on your leader. Do okay. What how what do you do here? You could play something like Skull Misty on your lead. Could pick up this skull misty here and maybe play a line like that, or you could try to build in the Shen. Now, I don't have any HP stuff for Shen, so I don't think it is Shen. 
But Shen is something I like to have in the back. But seven, I Shen Shen is something I appreciate having in the back pocket of this run. So I'm gonna take Skull Misty here. Now, unfortunately, we have don't. Egg is kind of awkward as a. Egg is pretty awkward as a Skull Misty target because I want to be relying on egg for a lot of this run we're gonna be doing this de i think this is right minus one turn counter minus one attack three minus three health i think is worth it because that's just how valuable minus subtracting turn counter is in my opinion now the question is do i play this here now okay what i also could do I have a crown here I should consider. Crown on Skull Misty. Is we have the... What I want to consider is that we do have this Moose Charm. Um, then I could play this on... Because I could do Moose Charm on Berry Sis for two days. For two damage for like a decent sacrifice that's fine uh, it's not very appealing I do need to try to find another skull for this run could get a little gets a little weird up to this point wait why do I I need a don't don't have skull Missy crown in this setup don't don't do that. Do be, be be you be smart. I can't imagine I'm gonna be playing. Barry says as something other than a tank, as not having Barry says as a tanky unit this run. Also, something I was kind of considering is doing this. Barry says I think becomes like a decent uh, becomes a, better at dealing damage. I just wonder if we're going to be, since we're going to be playing Skull Misty, I wonder if that's actually good. I want to crown Cheap Popper here, because I want to get Cheap Popper down immediately this fight. Alright, let's see if this setup can work. Okay. Um... Cross hand is a good start. Getting a dungeon down is good. I do need to try to be careful because I don't want to actually activate Sheep Popper this turn. So let's go and see. Now the problem you're gonna suffer here is that it's pretty hard to sacrifice it to get egg out of egg out of its shell it is quite difficult to do that okay now I need to find a way to pop this egg. uh this actually works quite nicely here um actually it's a little awkward we can snow we can snow truffle egg will die then I can Skull Misty Egg. You got Junjuns here to take to take hits. Alright. I mean, I do gotta say, 8 damage barrage doesn't seem like that crazy of a pay doesn't seem like that great. Seems like it's kinda lacking as a payoff. But with other stuff around it, it might be good. It is no it is you gotta note that your leader has no health. <laughs> your leader is one is at all times one shotable. Pretty much. And like it I I don't know why I didn't hit the bottom lane there. I should do this. very much should do that take out a lot of enemies got a lot of enemies right this 
setup is looking. We we shouldn't we shouldn't really have trouble ending this fight. I don't think so, or at least I don't think we should. Taking out the enemies up, we can take out the top truffles. Snow the tr these truffles so they're less of a threat. Or not snow them, frost them. Now I picked up this lumen ring and I really don't feel like using it in to be honest because I want to see if I can get snowball charm for this if you get snowball charm for this it's so good if you get snowball charm for that I think you might honestly want to do a setup where you just where you crown it so you just like stall on final fight uh, frost bell again you're gonna be summoning you summon a lot of little truffle guys this yeah here uh, I've only wait I can kill a couple of I can kill two of them you think it's possible for me to you know I'll do this I'm a this is what I'll do oh wait I f forgot it's only in the lane God playing sheep popper has Playing Sheep Hopper has messed with my memory. This should be lethal, though, so it doesn't really matter. Boom. One damage overburn. Destroyed. Pop. You made a lot of money that fight. Greed. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds very, very good. Likely the... Ah, oh, finally, Shade Sculptor. I've been meaning to see you, man. Been meaning to see this motherfucker. Although, I, mean, I guess at this point, there's no reason I shouldn't do it this on one of these. And then if I get Snowball Charm for the other, it's good. This combat here is gonna probably be easy. Yeah, this combat should be easy. Because you have you have spike to take hits, you have spike to take the burster hits, and and your leader should just be able to to scale up enough to to get the kill. I am going to let we are going to let this first this f burster here get a kill. I do, I will say, actually, wait, no, I do kill Sheep Popper here, which is very good. Egg dies, this burster dot. this burster gets smacked, and then he kills Sheep Popper. Seems, I mean, still works, but I don't know why I was thinking I had to play t to deal exactly over burn damage. I forgot how the effect worked. <laughs> My brain was like, oh, I need to hit exactly this amount of damage in order to kill here. No. No, you don't. You, you do not. We kill all the enemies here, and we're in excellent, we are in excellent shape here. This run is shaping up to be, has been shaping up to be real smooth. And I think ye, at this point, at this point, ye, just with Bree Charm is enough damage to suffi is su suffice what I need him to do. It, it, this, uh, yeah, just this damage and greed is enough damage to suffice. We kill both Bursters here, which is really nice. Uh, unfortunately, I, okay, I have to wait a turn to play these Frost Bells. And then... Then we can ring the bell. Then we can ring the bells. Like, you should ring the notification bell on this channel. Why did I not hit the goblin there? I Give me give me that bit of extra money. It is kind of a no... It is a little... Oh, wait. Crawler... Okay, wait, no. Thank you, Crawler. I... Oh... Wait, fuck. Uh, I need to do this. You have a way of getting out of that, but I should not have gotten into that position in the first place huh, curious crawler gave crawler gave his uh crawler gave his stuff to the weakest the weak to the guy that was about to to the crawl crawler gave 
the block to the crab that later that just immediately died or died before really should have died before him but turn order is gonna be weird it's like they happen at the same time it's like they happen at the same time but like what happens it's weird I that's kind of a weird kind of a weird thing to wrap your wrap your head around in my opinion I'm literally sun I'm just literally sun bursting numb skull at this point cuz this motherfucker ain't gonna die any ain't dying soon and he ain't gonna kill us soon cuz we got cuz we just apply seven frosts to it and they ain't much it can do Alrighty. get me out of here Barry sis get that fucking get that fucking money Good job. Top half's really good. Now, I'm curious here. How do I do this setup? Being able to cheat in a soulbound skull here, how good is it? The problem with Soulbound School is you. Hmm. Okay. Let me think about this. I would need to be able to sacrifice. I think I will pick this up. I would need to be able to sacrifice egg somehow. But. And, well, not. Okay. Um, that's really tricky. I could do it the grabber. I think I, I, I think I should try. I could do it with, I could do it with, with the grabber and then like, Okay, it's awkward to set up, but I do vision a way I could do it pretty cons- I vision how I could do it, like, consistently. I don't think I roll another charm here. Maybe I can. This is one less damage. I'm gonna do it. I'll do it once and be disappointed. Smackback charm? Um... This is what I was, this, I'll say this is what I'll do. We'll do this. Well, actually, we will, this berry cyst, do not, do not touch this berry cyst. You do not eat this berry. You will, you will suffer. Oh yeah, we're fighting these guys. I forgot. Yeah, it is, oh, am I actually fighting? Tar blade? I guess I am. Well, that's awfully disappointing, I think. Okay, so I am able to get the setup fairly nicely here. What do I do in the meantime? That is a lot of damage Demona is dealing. Ooh, I feel like I could be in a lot of danger here. But I need to... Oh, wait, no. I let Egg die on his own. What am I saying? Uh, hitting this bottom... Oh, do note that Mimble has greed. Very much should... You very much should note that. Snowing Bomb Bomb seems like a good angle to me. We have the Egg. Right. Oh wait, shit. But I okay, I forgot. I do need a wow, I'm stupid. I didn't forget how soulbound works. It's not a huge deal. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. That yikes! That's a Demona. That's a fucking Demona, man. 
All right, now, but we do just immediately kill. Oh, wait, oh god, oh god, but, oh wait, shit. That might actually be a problem. You having so little health that I can't sunburst you to it? Ooh, that could, that could actually bite me. I actually think that could bite me, man. Ooh, that's not fun. That's not fun one bit. Uh, so I'm able to hit... Hmm. I could try this. I think I'll do this. Then I could snow. Unfortunately, then I think I redraw here for snow. And we hit it. Yeah, we just snow you. Unfortunately... Wait, no, I need to hit this bottom lane. Unfortunately, here, Barry Sis can't get the... Barry Sis is gonna get frozen here. In that case... Wait, do I actually need a... I actually don't think I need a freeze bomb bomb then. So it means I just able to get six damage off on bomb bomb. Actually, I could just let Yi hit. Then, look, I. This is this is overkill. There's no reason that that Lumen Basin ain't cheap. Hopper there is just pure overkill. Over. Ah, man. It's fine. We still we still clean up. We clean up. We clean up around here. We clean up after ourselves. Hey. Right. I think this run should have what it takes to. I think this run really shouldn't have too hard. I'm gonna take a screenshot of what of this cooler frost bell. All right. Uh, mistake. Something I should have done earlier. I should have put Lumen Vase on frost bell earlier so I could have two for four frost frost bells that would uh that is just how you should have done it and this berry sis with skull misty active it's kind of kind of dangerous so, all right you do have to be there is an era era of delicacy of delicacy you have to have here cuz or at least on the, on the final fight, not this fight. You, Frost Bell, Double Frost Bell does just eat this fight alive. Like they can't even bust through my Jun Jun. What any kind of hope they? How do they expect to have any chance of beating me? Yeah, I just Frost Bell. <laughs> Frost Bell, this Junjun is invincible. This Jun this Junjun is practically invincible. And then it does like the fucking invincible, and then it like flashes invincible on the screen. Is that a lame reference? Like maybe it's a lame reference. Maybe, maybe. I have yet to see anyone who can outsmart. I don't know. I was, for some reason, I wanted, I want to, like, pivot that into, like, the TF, like, the Meet the Heavy TF2 video where he's, like, I may not be able to outsmart me. Some they think they can outsmart me. Maybe. Maybe. I have yet to meet anyone who can outsmart the bullet. And then he fucking, like, you know, does that. Does, does that whole thing okay so the setup here is really awkward on how you get this the on how you get the sacrifice on soulbound but bear with me here it'd be really fucking annoying if it hit frost jailer I gotta say okay so you do you tarblade you let frost pressure hit egg Actually, this could fuck up. What got soul bound? That got soul bound. Um, interesting. No, we're fine here. Cause I just frost I just snow this bottom lane. The thing I was worried about is that Barry Sis was gonna give HP to 
Frost Crusher, but that can't happen. Um, it is awkward here, because you do... I mean, yeah, you do this. You do that. Definitely, you definitely do that for this fight. Alright, you let Egg hit into you once. I looks like here I'm gonna need to do Frost Bell the top lane. After Frost Crusher hits. This setup feels so weird to this setup feels so weird to play, man. <laughs> this setup feels so weird. So I think I do this. You smack everything. You say Sayonara to Frost Bomber. Um. Hmm. I can do this, and then I let then I let Frost Crusher into Berry Sis. That seems like a good play to me, and then I sacrifice. Ooh, Berries is looking a little ouch there, I gotta say. So I could play... See, no reason I won't be able to get this off here. Yeah, both... Ah, you fucking idiot asshole. Fucking bitch. Alright, Frost... Frost. <laughs> That's fun to do. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy making the enemies feel like fucking more. I enjoy making the enemies feel like morons for thinking they had a for thinking they had a shot. Oh, this this feels good. This feels. Do not sleep on Frostbell, man. It will creep up on. It will. Frostbell can just do shit like this if you get Frost. It absolutely can just fucking destroy a run do not sleep stay awake like it turned this fight that could have been scared since like into just kind of a complete a complete uh, a complete massacre we'll do this Hit this idiot. Uh, you smack back into me and die. You just apply. And the enemies are not able to do anything. Because they are idiots. Because they are just filthy morons. Damn. This setup looks so fucking rude. This, set this setup is so rude. You just... You just make you. It, it's really you're really just humiliating the enemies at this, at this point, making them look like fucking goofballs. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this new one, or of this frost bell. Very, very, very successful. Now what do I? What's a good bell-related title? Uh. Hmm. How much? How much frost can I stack on this frost crusher? How much frost can the How much frost frost can a frost crush crush is a frost crush? How much frost How much frost can a frost crusher crush if a frost crusher crush is frost? Actually, wait, that worked. Yeah, I actually think I did that correctly there. How much frost could a frost crusher crush if a frost crusher could crush frost? Yeah, that worked. Or wait, no. How much frost could a frost crusher crush if a f how how much frost how much frost could a frost crusher crush if a fr if a crusher could how much <laughs> I will get the how much frost could a frost crusher crush if a frost crusher could crush frost frost I frost I didn't I said frost at <laughs> how much frost could a frost how frost I keep saying frost how much frost but stop saying frost! Ah! How much frost? How much frost could a frost crusher crush if a frost crusher could crush frost? There we go. Got it. 
There we go. Act that actually works. Now, the question is, do I title this video that? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I will. Probably not, though. Get in the vase that I actually have this time. Feels good. That run, that was a fun one. Enjoy just dumping frost into enemies and making up nursery rhymes. Now, I wonder if these apply one bomb on units. Y unit. These. Uh, you, you probably just play Biller next time. 10 HP is really good. Well, maybe you could play Ma. 6 HP is really shit. Oh well. Anyway. That's good for this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. While you're at it, share this video for your best friend or or. Oh wait, no, that's not my outro anymore. I changed it. Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, like, comment and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a good day.